remaining objective of this topic is explain the quantitative relationship between the elemental composition by mass and the composition of substances in a mixture. So what is mixture? How to find the composition of that mixture? And what is the quantitative relationship between the elemental composition by mass and the composition of mixture? So we will be discussing all of this in this video. Hello everyone, this is topic 1.4 which is composition of mixtures from AP Chemistry College Board. Let's start. In topic 1.3, I discuss the classification of matter on the basis of chemical properties. It can be basically classified into mixtures and pure substances. We already discussed this pure substances in topic 1.3 it was uh, classified into element and compound and I discussed both of these in that topic. In this topic, we'll be discussing more about mixtures. The mixtures can be further classified into homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. So let's see what does it mean. So mi homogeneous mixtures and the heterogeneous mixtures, the basic difference between these is in homogeneous mixtures, you can see that there is same composition throughout. But in heterogeneous mixtures, they do not have the same composition throughout. Let me give you an example. If you take a sugar solution and if you see even a 1 ml of that sugar solution, the composition would be same as in the whole glass of sugar solution. But in case of a mixture of sand and water, what you would see is if you will take 1 ml of that sand and water mixture, it would be composition would be totally different from that in the whole glass. So that is the basic difference between homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Another thing which can be seen with a microscope is different components cannot be seen with naked eyes or microscope in case of homogeneous mixture. But in case of heterogeneous mixtures, you can see different components components with naked eye or with microscope. For example, in the mixture of sand and water, you can easily see sand and water separately with your naked eyes. But in case, case of sugar solution, you cannot see the sugar and water at as different components. The components of the mixture can be separated by physical methods like filtration, extraction, simple hand picking or magnetic separation. So these are some of the methods by which we can separate the components of mixture. For example, if we take this sugar solution example, we can separate the sugar from solution by just the evaporation. If we evaporate the water, we will be left with the sugar. Similar is the case of sand and water. If we evaporate the water, we will be left with sand. And another method by which sand and water can be separated is by filtration. This is the flow chart by which we can see that the what type of component is it like if the uh, component is homogeneous mixture, it is heterogeneous mixture, it's a compound or it's an element. I already discussed about compound and element in topic 1.3. So if we take some matter, first of all, we will see that can it be physically separated if yes then it is a mixture. If it cannot be separated physically, it is a pure substance. For example, I talked about sugar solution. It can be separated physically because we can evaporate the water. So it's a mixture. But if we take a, uh, only water, then it can, you cannot separate hydrogen and oxygen just physically. You have to do some chemical process to separate hydrogen and oxygen in water. Further, if we talk about mixture, we need to further see that if the composition uniform, if the composition is uniform, then, then it is homogeneous mixture. And if it is not uniform, then it is heterogeneous mixture. For example, in case of sand and water solution. So it was not a uniform uh, composition, so it is in heterogeneous mixture. Now, if I talk about pure substance, then Further, we need to see that can it be chemically decomposed or you can say that can it be chemically separated? 
For example, I talked about water. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. So if we can separate and hydrogen and oxygen, it means that it is a compound. But if it, it cannot be separated, then it is an element. For example, if I talk about hydrogen only, then hydrogen cannot be separated further. So it means that it, hydrogen is an element and water is a compound. So this is a basic flow chart by which we can see that the given component is a homogeneous mixture, heterogeneous mixture, if it is a compound or an element. Now, let me tell you about the percentage composition of a compound in a mixture. In topic 1.3, I talked about finding the percentage of an element in a compound. But in this video, I'm talking about mixture. So how to find the percentage of compound in a mixture? Because a mixture is composed of two or more compounds. So if we want to find the percentage composition of a single compound that in that mixture, then the formula is mass of that compound divided by total mass of mixture multiplied by 100. Now let's use this formula in an example. The question is a 1.60 gram tablet is found to contain 0 0.0133 mole of amino acid glycine. The formula of this glycine is C2H5NO2. The molar mass of this glycine is 75.07 gram per mole. What is the mass percent of this glycine in the tablet? So we are told that uh, there is a tablet whose mass is given and that tablet contains an, a glycine. And the glycine uh, mole is 0 0.0133 mole. The molar mass of that glycine is also given and we need to find the mass percent. So to find the mass percent, we need to know the mass of that compound, but we are given the mole and the molar mass. So by applying the mole concept, we will find the mass of that compound. Let's try doing it. So mass of glycine would be molar mass multiplied by number of moles number of moles so that would be equal to 75.07 multiplied by 0 0.0133 moles and if we calculate this we will get an answer as 0.998 grams so this is the mass of the compound which is present in this tablet now we need to use this formula to find the mass percent of that compound so to find that the mass percent of glycine would be equal to mass of that compound would be 0.998 which we found out now divided by total mass of mixture which is given as 1.60 gram multiplied by 100 and if we find this, if we calculate this, we will get an answer as 62.4%. So this percent of glycine is present in this 1.60 gram tablet. So like this, we can find the mass percent of a compound in a mixture. Now let's see this example. The question is, a student determines that a 3.0 gram mixture of zinc oxide and silver oxide contains 0 0.010 mole of zinc oxide. Based on the student's measurement, what is the mass percent of zinc in the mixture? So it's given that there is a mixture of zinc oxide and silver oxide and this mixture has 0 0.010 mole of zinc oxide and we need to find the mass percent of zinc in this mixture. So in, if 0 0.010 mole of zinc oxide is present, it means that zinc would also be 0 0.010 mole. So let's write down this thing. So zinc oxide is 0 0.010 mole. It means that zinc is also 0 0.010 mole. Now the molar mass of zinc is 
zinc is 65.38 gram per mole now what we would do is we will find the mass of zinc like we did in the previous question that is molar mass multiplied by number of moles which will again give 65.38 multiplied by 0 0.010 mole and as an answer we will get as 0.654 we can write it as 0.654 grams so this is mass of zinc now we need to find the mass percent we will again use the same formula as we did in the previous question which is mass of zinc divided by mass of the mixture multiplied by 100 so if we calculate this we will get an answer as 22 percent so 22 percent of zinc is present in this mixture so if we are given a question in which we need to find the mass percent of compound we can find it if we need to find the mass percent of an element we can also do it by doing some calculations so elemental analysis and the composition mixture we can find by using the same formula now let's see another question the question is a 1.60 gram calcium supplement contains 37.8 percent calcium by mass the calcium is present in the supplement as CaCO3 which is calcium carbonate the molar mass of calcium carbonate is 100.09 grams per mole how many grams of CaCO3 that is calcium carbonate are in the calcium supplement so in this question the mass percent of calcium is given okay and we need to find the grams of calcium carbonate so how do we do this so if we still remember the formula for the mass percent of compound it was mass percent of compound was equal to mass of compound here it is calcium upon mixture mass of mixture multiplied by 100 so here we have the value of mass percent which is 37.8 mass of calcium we need to find we write it as x mass of mixture is 1.60 multiplied by 100 so if we solve this x we will get an answer as 0 0.605 grams so this is the mass of calcium which is present in this calcium supplement now we need to find the mass of calcium carbonate we have the mass of calcium we need to find the mass of calcium carbonate so we will apply the dimensional analysis here we need to find the mass of calcium carbonate so what we will do is we will write the ma uh, molar mass of calcium carbonate which is 100.09 you can see in the question also that thing grams of calcium carbonate upon molar mass of calcium which is 40 grams of calcium one mole of calcium contains 40 grams of calcium multiplied by this mass 0.605 grams of calcium so from this we will get the mass of calcium carbonate so if we calculate this we will get an answer as 1.513 grams so this mass of calcium carbonate is present in this calcium supplement i hope this question is clear to you the learning objective of this topic was explain the quantitative relationship between the elemental composition by mass and the composition of substances in a mixture i talked about what is mixture i talked that how can we find the composition of that mixture i talked about the elemental composition and also the quantitative relationship between the elemental composition by mass as well as the 
composition of substances in a mixture by using the examples. So I hope this topic is clear to you. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to the channel Log IOTA and press the bell icon 